Hi guys, Big Man D here, and welcome to the Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Quick Play. Uh, so, if you're just joining us, what is a quick play? It's basically kind of like halfway between a let's play and a speedrun. They said we're going to motor through the game pretty quick, but uh, we're not going to follow the rules of a speedrun. We are going to make sure we actually get to experience the game's content too. So, last time we completed the hero story, so today we're going dark. We are going to start the dark side story. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Security, Security breach, breach at gate, gate 3. three. Intruder, Intruder has been located in the north quadrant and is moving, moving in the direction of the underground base. base. All, All units, units prepare to engage. engage. Emergency, Emergency battle, battle formations. formations. Standard, Standard battle, battle procedures, procedures initiated. Locate, locate and, and stop the intruder from entering the security area. area. This, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. Repeat, this, this is not, not a drill. drill. <laughs> that was all. Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. A top secret military weapon. The military shut down the research because they feared him. Okay, so... Starting off with a Robotnik level, which is kind of... It doesn't feel right for this game. It feels more like it should be Sonic and Shadow. Uh, but it is right for the series. After all, Robotnik is uh, Sonic's nemesis. It also allows you to have a bit of a contrast at the start between the different playstyles. Uh, so, just like before, we'll we'll look for the cow crate. That's gonna be one I can't I can't get to unless I've got the jump jet. That'll be really annoying. Ah. Uh, that was an intended route off, but well, it works. So again, we're gonna motor through these reasonably quickly. Oh, I just wanna get to the Gonna make sure I have some stuff to feed my chow. We're gonna be starting on a new chow now, a dark chow. Level two, security door breach. Level two, security door Again, I'm, I'm not particularly worried about uh, maximum my score. Let's run. We'll worry about emblems later. Right, you can sort of just jump down there with, uh, with hover. It's a difficult one to make. Oh, it's big again! Big the cat. There's a lot of levels in this game where big is hidden. I don't know where he is. I don't know all his places, but there's a lot of places big is just sort of wandering around. Oh, oh, got a route there that we can't go down yet. But once we've got power-ups, there'll be another, another route to take. So, if you don't know how Robotnik's levels work, it's pretty much the same. It's basically a clone of Tails. The more targets you lock onto, the more points you get in one shot. Over S rank, you need to maximise your the amount of targets you get. You're not always going to be able to get perfect because there isn't always enough targets to do that. So like here, I'm taking out all four uh, all four corners of the door in one shot gets me more points. But we do have to bear in mind the amount of time we can lock on for, because there is a limit to it. So five enemies, that's jamming. One is not pathetic, not there. So really, if you want to maximize, you have to wait until you drift past. And then we do it like that. Oh, 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 oh. 
That's not bad for a first run with no power-ups. And there was another chow crate in there. I meant to back off just as you drop into the last room, because quite often, with the so with the Tails and Robotnik uh, stuff, it drops you into the last room, uh, and it sort of throws you at the ring. But if you sort of back off and dodge the ring, there's usually a couple of hidden things in that room. So because we're trying to motor through this quite quickly, we're going to grab our chow, feed him the stuff, and then just straight back out. We'll do a chow section at the end of the video. We need to start coming up with a name. Right, we're not going to feed Fred. We're going to keep Fred as a good chow. Uh, and we're going to keep this one as a bad chow. Let's do the animals first before they run out. I think I picked up too many cores to get a third one. Okay, I only got two animals. I like that. I kind of like a uh, sort of chunky, muscly gorilla for the dark jowl. That is slightly glitched. There's another tree. And that one. I don't think the leaves are supposed to be that high. But, moving on. We'll worry about that when we get to the chow section. Because if I was speedrunning, I would even avoid... Do if I was doing proper speedruns, I'd like, even avoid picking up the key. weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. I hate this bit. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. I hate this whole story. We'll get, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's just watch the cutscene. Why is he in the pit now? Wait a minute. You're not Sonic. This is impossible. My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. 
Okay, so you got a lot of hover sneakers. Good for you. This is Scorpion Troops Hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept and destroy. Copy that. So this is kind of like the first boss Sonic phases, which is where we start to get some sort of symmetry in, uh, in the two stories. It's going to be a little bit of symmetry. But the bosses play slightly different. That darn robot was spectacular. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for Love you in the central space. control room on the Space Colony Ark. Powerful of the emeralds, and he's just, I can use it for something. What was that all about? And look what you did to my emeralds! I did that to prevent the master emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. That's the matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. Lagoon. See, I kind of love the way they handle the, uh, the two-sided story in this, where there's, there's never really an outright win. You might win a boss battle, but then the fight stops before somebody's, like, completely obliterated, and you go your separate ways until we get to sort of the final battle. Alright, so let's start by going up high. See if we get a ping up high. Uh, chow box. Although I noticed in the number of levels I end up skipping most of the chow related stuff. There's an emerald here. So it is worth noting, it'll only give us a ping on the first emerald. So let's go down. Uh, gotta be in a 
side tunnel somewhere or something. I suppose it would make it... I do kind of see why they would make it too easy. Oh, I love that. Too, uh, I can forget to pick up. Is there like a side entrance I'm missing? side before we go anywhere else. Yeah. I just want to pick up that last child crate because it has the legendary creature in. So that's the turtle that I 
and goes back to the other oasis. It's more than one. Do we have to rescue this one too? Or do we just wait for him to show up? Hello, Mr. Turtle. And now I'm gonna drown. Because I've been underwater way too long. Unless this guy farts a bobble or something. Oh, nearly died. And there's the emerald. That one's gonna be a really annoying one for speedrunners. Because so I guess you, I took a little too much time. You just gotta wait for the turtle. There's no way you can sort of cut that time down any. I'm sure the glitch runners probably found a way. Okay, let's go deliver our unicorn. I think it's a unicorn, a dragon, and a phoenix. So yeah, anyway, why we're here. The reason I kind of... One of the things I really don't like about this game is... <laughs> Dr. Robotnik, at some point, at several points in the game, refers to his grandfather as Grandfather Robotnik. But as long-time Sonic fans will know, uh, Dr. Robotnik was not born Dr. Robotnik. He was created. Sugar? Yes, he, he, originally Dr. Uh, Dr. Ivo Robotnik was Dr. Orby Kintabor. And there was an accident surrounding the Chaos Emeralds. And we, he sort of. He reverted from being the good uh, and kind Orby Kintabor to being the evil and mad. Uh, Dr. Robotnik. And this is what I sort of really don't like about this game, because he cannot possibly have a grandfather robot. Because he was the first robot. Oh, give me peacock feathers, ah, that's it, peacock feathers and a mane. Yeah, it's impossible. He cannot have grandfather robotnik. Now, he might be referring to Dr. Uh, grandfather Kinterbor as Robotnik, maybe he's using that way, but I think there's other characters that refer to him as... Uh, I think I'm not 100% certain it's too long since I've played it. Yeah, I think it's too long since I've played it, I don't quite remember, but I think there's uh, other references to it that aren't just Robotnik. Because if it was just Robotnik saying it, uh, you could just... Forgot I don't have hover. If it was just Robotnik saying it, you could uh, put it down to, well, he's down crazy. So that's fine. It's just that... Uh, it, it, it's just that he now thinks he's Robotnik instead of Kinterbor, so... Uh, He's obviously going to call his family by the, the same thing, you know, but I'm sure there's other characters in the game that refer to him as... refer to the grandfather as Robot. Which is wrong, he's not. There is no way he can be Robot, which means... Which kind of means either... Uh, or, sorry, the most likely thing it means is that people making this game don't know anything about... didn't know anything about Sonic. I find very annoying. I mean, if I was running Sega, um, you know, I wouldn't choose the quality of my designers based on like, their knowledge of, like, previous knowledge of Sonic. Or, 
if I was uh, running Sega, uh, making the next iteration of such a, such a major series, I would, uh, let's get that shout key, I, I would be saying to like my new designer said, look, uh, Sonic knowledge is not required to get the job, but it is required to keep it. But, so go and find out some of Sonic's background. I mean, there's like short books. I mean, I don't really read, and I have read. I think I've, I, I've read loads of like, Sonic's background. I hate reading. not do the lock on yet because it makes your movement a bit funny and without the hover to correct for mistakes in the movement I'll be pretty screwed. Also gotta be a bit careful here. This level is so much easier once you've got the the hover. You can pretty much just like walk. Walk over all of that this stuff. Not worry about where you're standing. Like jump the gap. Yep, yep. Uh, like the parrot. They're not great. What? That, that guy disappeared before he fully materialized. Bullshit. Okay, so there's a way, there's a path over there we can only take the power ups. about falling in pits and stuff. I don't need to worry about damage from enemies at this point. The first few levels of Robotnik and his tails are just really easy. You can just tank most of the damage. Missed a big time save there. I could have just jumped straight over. But we're not speedrunning as such yet. You know, we're quite loose on the speedrun element. So we can live with a few, with a few, with that mistake like that. Yosh. Come on, get 
Give me at least a B. Come on, come on, is it better than this? so difficult. Okay, I did die, but I died quite early. It shouldn't cost me too many points. Ah, well. Really need to think of a name for this chow. Yo. Yo. Should have upset the the Harry Potter community too much if it was George, and then because at some point one of these guys is going to have to. Make room, so one of them is going to die. Uh, raccoons first, because we don't like their cosmetics. How did that animal go? I'm not even sure what this is. It's like a. It's a fucking. Like zombie. Like poppy or something. Okay, this guy's turning dark already. What is this? So it's a little bit more noticeable. There's a white chow turning lighter. Not really that noticeable. You notice he likes robotic now. Okay, did I miss any? Did any wander off? I think that's it. Let's go. Next level. I can kind of uh, put up with them calling him Eggman. With the chaos but the memory, grandfather Robotnik's just too much. Space Colony Arc. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing the that was stolen was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world renowned hero Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more, more details. Sounds like the work of Shadow. Yeah. And this is where the good star would, the story would start. <laughs> How pathetic. Find them before they escape! Maria! What? Shadow, I beg of you, please, Maria. do it for me, for all the people on that planet. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. For the people of this planet, I promise you, revenge. Innocent young girl like that, she can't be been after revenge. Sonic. 
tends to just sort of dart off to the side a lot. Shadow is really smooth. But his homing attacks and he's going to get it much more focused towards the enemy than running like shot. Generally bad for your health. Oh, come on, that's bullshit. That wasn't so hard. Oh, 
I didn't think I picked up a key. Oh yeah, of course I did, right at the start. Seems to have frozen. Okay, you call up. Good. That's red. This guy's really good at flying. them everything indiscriminately they'll at the, even though if they start high in one they'll sort of average out eventually but because I've fed this guy mostly birds he's gonna be a major flyer with this a jewel containing the ultimate power that's the chaos emerald indeed it is now i know what's going on the military has mistaken me for the likes of you well naturally all the military minds in this world you are idiots. You're going with that emerald say something you fake hedgehog chaos control Why is he a fake? I really hate that in this game. Wow, he's fast. Hey, it's not his I mean, they need to make some. The Chaos Emerald to war. They need to make something up to make a rivalry between Sonic and Shadow. Um, but I mean, this is actually all behaviors if Sonic is the only hedgehog in the world. This is bullshit. This is Rouge. I have located Eggman's base and will proceed to enter it now. <sighs> See, this is where I you start to get to hints say it. I about. guess I'm going to have to find that key first. This is where you start to get hints that uh, Rouge is not just some like, random nut job. Can I not kill that? Okay. There's not. Well, let's avoid it then. And by avoid it, I mean fly straight into the fire. This is the eighth Scorpion Chip. Thank you. 
while again. You know what? I'm gonna go the other way. No! Ah, damn it. Can we hide from that thing here? Perhaps been better off going the other way. He may be buried. Did you find a digging tool? No, I did not find a digging tool. It's big again. my times playing this game, I've, 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 when I was a kid, I played through the levels again and again and again, and I never really noticed me in most of them. so slightly.
It's all too easy for me. I don't think I deserve to be there. Kept running into that goddamn like patrol bot. Okay, let's find our channel. Right then, eat a gorilla. Yeah, nothing but gorillas. It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to... Ark? Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. So these... In the, in the hero story, you don't hit any of this. You, you just sort of... She's just some crazy lady after the, the gems. When you play the dark story, you still hear these hints that she's kind of here in a bit of an official capacity. So this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. I really like how this level is dark. There's a bit of attention to detail that when Robotnik turns off, I mean, when Robotnik turns off, the place is shut down, so it should be dark, and I think that's what that's Trying to trick me. I really feel the game would have been better if Robotnik had made past comments on that being something left by his grandfather or something. I mean, the characters in this game just sort of accept that, oh, this is sort of magically hit left here for me. Some animals and some ghosty bats. Yo! Yo! 
really careful with these guys. I think I can help with that. You don't have a shield, but I'm gonna try it. I was waiting for... Waiting for the platform to maybe move closer. I couldn't remember what sort of exactly the hover distance is. I feel the characters back comment when they pick stuff up there. I mean, that was, you know, we're on the space colony that his Robotnik's grandfather was, like, in charge of. So it makes sense that Robotnik's grandfather left that hover add on. Not necessarily for him, but. I feel like you should, should pass comment that it's been left by gra Grandad. Step back there is just in case they shot. I want to make sure I dodged anything. Finally got that gold guy. points to be had in that room with enemies, but we're just going to jump for the goal and move things on with the story. That was too close. Yeah, I deserve that.
Okay, guys, we're going to call it there, I think. Um, I think that's plenty of story for today. So if you're only here for the to watch the gameplay, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video, guys. If you want to stick around and see some char raising, you're welcome to hang around. Oh, he's kind of a ghosty, huh? That's pretty cool. Kind of that, that should make him an automatic win at all the flying levels, right? I kind of don't want to feed him the guinea pig now. I've always felt the ghost ones look a little bit too weird though. Really? We've now got a, a ghost with tusks. Is that tusks? Yeah, we've got a ghost with tusks and front trotters. Ghost of a game. So I'm going to exit out and come back in just so uh, just so we can go in and out without go to the shop and stuff without worrying. Stage select. Character select. Go with Shadow. Shadow is one of my probably my favourite character in this game. I'm a big Sonic fan, but Shadow is definitely my favourite character in this game. So I think before we get into any combat or anything like that. We're going to pick our chow up and we're going to go name it. Oops. No, we do not want to call it Dino. Yes, we'll name the chow. And at some point we're going to kill it, so just keep the Harry Potter fans happy. There we go. We've got Fred and George. I do not recall which one died. Not a big Harry Potter fan. I like the films, but I'm just not a massive, massive fan. I don't remember all the details. Why are you crying, you mighty chap? I'm just going to see how... See the doctor. So his best potential is actually in run. Take my child to the black market, why not? They're a responsible pair of girls to the black market for the children. Ah, we got a... Typical rare egg. Isn't that kind of contradictory? But we're going to leave the eggs for now. I don't want that. Probably want another seed. I don't remember if if the uh, don't recall if every chow has to win the spade to be able to plant seeds, but we'll find out. Come on, little dude. Give me a pink ass. Why has he got a pink ass? I mean, what has this guy been? I suppose it's. He's starting to take on the shape of uh, sort of the glowing bit at the back of Shadow's 
by this maybe. If you look at the little pointy bit on his head. Is that sort of pink area grown the longer we're here? I think it is. Okay, you're gonna plant that or do we have to go and win the yeah? We have to go and win the spade, the crap pool level one. Before we do that, uh, let's feed him up. I'll let Fred plant the, the seed. I don't want to interact too much with Fred with the dark characters. A little bit's not going to make much difference. There we go. Fred's done a good job there for us. And this guy is one greedy bastard. Come over here, Fred. Come and see your little brother, George. Both eat fruit. Come on, drop. Drop. Thank you. Who's going to finish first? So you're kind of feeding both, just, just so I'm not wasting time. I don't want to interact too much with Fred, but you know, a little bit of fruit isn't going to hurt. I feel that that tree is really bugged out. I mean, look, it's growing fruit already. Can I can I pick that fruit yet? I don't think that's quite big enough yet. Come on, Fred, eat up. Your stamina up, ready for when we like. You, you gotta fight a grand battle. Well, you or your brother's gonna die. Don't remember which. So let's give you some better odds. I get the feeling there's gonna be like some Harry Potter fan watch my video on YouTube later and instantly dislike. At the fact that I'm going to get Fred or George killed. And there's some other Harry Potter fans that are going to instantly dislike at the fact that I don't know whether it was Fred or George. <laughs> so the fruit on the back, despite being bugged, I think they're pretty much big enough now. Is it quiet there? No? I think I planted this tree a little bit earlier. No, a little bit more growing to do. I think I'm just going to have to wait for fruit. There you go, George. You eat up. You get nice and strong. Make sure it's Fred that gets murdered. They're being held on by the sky. George, eat that. Or we look at the mysterious floating fruit. Ah, excellent. Round fruit. Now we find out what round fruit does. Okay, so there are two hidden stats, intelligence and luck. And I think a lot of the sort of bonus fruit increase those stats. But I think it's also partly they're just more tasty, so the chow will chew through them without you having to keep refeeding it like this. Or they'll be more prone to just chew through it. See, really, that looks like it's just a stamina fruit, but it could be increasing the chow's luck for all we know. I'm going to look at the mechanics, see if anyone's actually figured that out. It's a hidden stats. Not something that's easy to figure out. 
that's why they're hidden stats. Oh, what the? Are you? Are you? Are you adulting? Is that how evolving? Doing little child. Oh man, I don't even remember what happens here. Is he gonna die? Oh, that's good music. Yeah, that means something good's happening. I wanna watch it, but I don't wanna lose time with that George. He's basically just become an adult child now. Oh, he's become a hero child. George, come on, I want to see what stat you get. Okay, so that's either the hidden stats or it's just a nice one. Okay, so the child is no longer a baby. Good boy. He's got two little floppy ears like a bunny. Uh, George is pretty much the same age, so George has got to be like on the edge of becoming an adult child. But he's not really had much interaction with any hero. So maybe he'll just become a neutral child. I think that means we've also unlocked the hero guard. I have some proof. Not sure how the game saves um, like partially eaten fruit. I don't want to waste these. I have to pay a lot just to plant them. So before we finish today, we're going to feed the chow all these fruit. But as soon as George has finished chowing down on that, we're going to go and get him his shovel by doing the crab pull. There we go. Out. I mean, Fred is much higher. Much, much higher. Well, let's see how George does. George does have a lot more stamina than Fred had at this point. Bang the drum, make sure he gets a good start. And his swimming was not great, so we notice these guys are actually catching up a little bit with him. His fly there got him a massive head start. Yeah, I don't think his swim is going to be good now. His swim is really weak. kind of stood behind me for a bit. It took a little while before he came out to the side. That's why I was playing the drum at the start. So we're going to come fourth. Okay, that's not terrible considering his stat. I probably could have cheese it by just hammering the drum at the start to abuse his flying ability. But I think what we'll do is we will we'll unlock his spade, his shovel in the next episode. But now we're going to go and take a look at the kindergarten because I haven't really done anything with the kindergarten yet. Um, because I couldn't remember whether 
whether the child stays there and you can't use it in the races for a while. So we're going to go have a look at the kindergarten because if we can't use the child, uh, I'm just going to call the episode there and we'll see. We'll, we'll sort of do it later. So leave Chow. You can leave up to four Chow here. If you leave your Chow here, you will not be able to take your Chow home until it finishes its lesson. Yes. Okay. So the way it works is it's kind of different lessons raise different stats. Well, let's go and get the other Chow. Uh, we could look at the Hero Garden, but I think what we'll do, we'll leave that till next episode as well. Uh, or this is going to become an immensely long episode. Though we haven't done a lot of racing. But you've ever, we're doing the dark story on this, so let's, we have nothing to do with that hero gun. Can't go in there as Shadow. He's a bad guy. So we'll leave the Chow in class. So basically, those Chow are going to get a stat boost. So normally Chow would only sort of benefit while you're in the garden. Those Chow are going to get a little boost while we're not in the garden. So guys, I think we're going to call it there. Uh, if you're watching on stream, I'm going to record the next episode immediately after this one. So I'll be back in uh, sort of five, maybe ten minutes. Uh, if you're watching on the video, then uh, see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. See you all soon. Bye bye